Hello listeners and viewers, I'm Brad and this is Offcut Media. Something a little bit different, not looking specifically at a music video or song or an album or a film for that matter, I'm looking at an actor instead. And the actor in question today is Yahoo Serious. Now this may not be a name that everyone knows about, but he was famous for about two or three years and then kind of disappeared off the face of the earth. Yahoo Serious was born Greg Peed in 1953 and he only has three films or three feature films for that matter against his name he was a actor in three films and directed the three films that he was in i think he also wrote the three films that he was in as well so he was kind of a one-man band in this regard in 1988 we were first treated to yahoo serious on the big screen in a movie called young einstein which of course was an intentional poke at albert einstein Instead, this time, uh, he's an apple farmer from Tasmania who discovers the formula for E equals MC squared after he's trying to split beer atoms in the process. Einstein. He is destined to create the most powerful scientific theories in history. I discovered the formula for splitting beer atoms. A few other things ensue on the way. Uh, He goes on to develop rock music. He also does some surfing, as far as I remember. Uh, The love interest was called Marie Curie. Well, he's brilliant enough to understand him. My name is Marie. Marie Curie. So, yeah, there's a lot of liberties taken with this. And Yahoo Serious takes us all on board with his weird charm and appeal that he had in the box office, especially in Australia. They did take the movie over to the US, but I think it bombed, as far as I remember. The main reason that I actually wanted to bring up Yahoo Serious was because the soundtrack was one of the best soundtracks for film, uh, especially of the late 80s, early 90s. The Young Einstein soundtrack had some amazing artists on there. You had Mental As Anything. The Saints, Big Pig, Ice House. models it was just a great assortment of australian music that was on there and no wonder it did actually win an apra award as far as i remember uh in 1990 for its soundtrack yahoo serious then continued on in 1993 releasing his next film called reckless kelly and of course that is a send-up of the notorious robert ned kelly and it basically follows this reckless kelly character while he's trying to make it big in hollywood as a movie star instead most powerful band of outlaws in history but times have changed and the notorious kelly gang has been reduced to just one man was a big hit in australia but of course didn't do so much overseas probably the main song from the soundtrack that was interesting was the divinals doing a cover of wild thing I love- did rank in the charts in Australia, but it didn't do too much after that. And after a seven year stint of not much happening, in 2000 he released his third film called Mr. Accident, which was probably a forgettable film out of the trio that he made. Uh, just about the most accident prone man in the world as far as I um, remember. He cooks. <laughs> he cleans. What have you been doing? Putting out the garbage. It was about an accident-prone man who stumbled across some sort of plan to uh, lace eggs with nicotine. Once again, a very strange premise, but uh, Yahoo Serious and David Roach were behind the writing again for this. But since the year 2000, Yahoo Serious has really disappeared off the face of the earth. We haven't seen too much from him, and he hasn't done too much in the public eye, at least anyway. He has worked as a director on the Kokoda Track Foundation, which is a humanitarian organization which works in Papua New Guinea, or is focused on Papua New Guinea at least. Uh, He did in 2000 as well uh, try and bring up a lawsuit against the search engine Yahoo for the use of his name. Unfortunately, at that time, Yahoo Sirius didn't have any merchandise that was under the Yahoo name, so he really didn't have a leg to stand on in regards to this, and it was kind of dismissed straight away. The most recent news that I've found of Yahoo Serious was that he actually was evicted from his luxury home that he had uh, in Sydney after failing to pay rent. This was last year in the height of everything that was going on in the world at the time. 
He said that his income had been hit because of artistic and creative endeavours that were not able to work due to the crisis that was happening. Don't know anything more than that, unfortunately. But since then, we have heard nothing from Yahoo at all. With Young Einstein and Reckless Kelly, the main two out of the trilogy of films that he has, being something that has stayed in the minds of a lot of Australian cinema fanatics for years and years. So what was it that made it so interesting? Was it actually Yahoo Sirius's acting ability? Was it his writing ability within it? Was it his direction? Not too sure. Maybe it was that he didn't take himself too seriously, which is something that we all adore in Australia. Look, Dad! Bubbles. However, one thing I do want to mention once again is the Young Einstein soundtrack, which, being Oz Music Month, it is one of the best soundtracks from an Australian film of all time. I tracked down a copy in an op shop for about a dollar. It's sitting proudly in my collection at home. Who knows, maybe I'll find a Reckless Kelly soundtrack or a Mr. Accident soundtrack at some stage. However, that's my rabbiting on about Yahoo Serious. Any other actors or musicians that you want me to have a look at, put a comment in the comment section, put a like on the video, and also, of course, subscribe to the channel and follow us on Facebook too. Thank you once again for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Listen to me carefully. Where is Dan? Oh. Cornflakes. Good dog.